this video i'm going to explain about the dynamics 360 uh, dynamics 365 crm uh, integration with the schedule basis uh, data sync or data migrations uh, data migrations how we can uh, implement it and what is the approaches uh, today we are going to discuss it so the schedule if the requirement if the requirement comes under the schedule basis or data migration then we need to check the following points and the first point here uh, when you are doing the data migration or in the data sync so first you need to check how many records you want to process in a daily or in an hourly or in a uh, every uh, whatever the schedule is given so based upon that we need to decide the which approach is going uh, is a best and it will fit for your requirement and and also if you are doing the data migration in the data migration also we need to consider the how much volume of data we are going to migrate so based upon the my experiences and uh, in the crm in the migration or in the schedule of uh, migra uh, uh, migration approaches. So I am suggesting uh, it's my own opinion and it's my, it's, it's a recommendable. And uh, these are the following uh, following approaches. If the record count below three 3,000 records, so then we can go with the console applications, uh, console application and scheduler jobs. So it's, it's uh, still we can go with this approach is a best uh, recommendation. And if the above the 3000 to 10,000 in a SSIS packages, we can write our custom connector. And with that, we can uh, connect the CRM and we can do that. And in this approach also, we can still, we can go with the console and schedulers also. And if the record is a 10,000 and above, we should we can go with the exercise package with the king soft license or scribe or logic apps in the azure we can go with these things and if when uh, i'm going to explain with the one simple scenario with the console applications and the scenario is here you want to update the customer details with the null values for the cases which is closed in the 60 days back for this approach how we can uh, we can uh, achieve it so first thing in the dot net the flow is uh, here the flow is uh, the flow is here uh, in the crm we have a case entity in the case we have a records so this is a console application in the console application you will write a uh, logic like a you need to create a crm my organization service and you need to retrieve the all the records by using a query expression or fhxml you, you can you have to retrieve and once it is retrieved and update the email and customer details in the case all the details you can make it a blank so once you develop this console application to schedule that console application we can do in a two ways if we have a the two ways if we have a windows server in that windows server we can use the task scheduler by using that we can schedule it if we have a azure we can deploy our code to the azure as a web jobs or scheduler jobs then we can schedule it on a uh, required timings and and uh, whatever the schedule we want it and next thing describe uh, sss packages and scribe jobs uh, for this one if you want to sync the accounts and contacts data from sap or salesforce system uh, to the crm on a schedule base or one time job uh, as part of the data migration the approach is here you want to uh, the accounts and contacts in the source system so you need to implement the either SSS package or scribe or any store processor uh, to dump the data from source system to the our SQL staging database. In that SQL staging databases, we will do our 
modifications according to the how the how it will fit in our CRM. Then in this staging database, data is ready. Then we can move that data to the CRM using the SSS package with the Kingsoft license, and or we can use the scribe tool. Then that data will come to the CRM. So similar way, this is a for pulling the data for, to the other system, the CRM. If you want to push the data from our CRM to the <coughs> other system, we will be go with the in a reverse approach. In this way only. Thank you so much for watching this video.